Penn State's been Nation here with Jake Adams, uh, graduate assistant coach for football in charge of slot backs. Uh, coach, appreciate you coming in uh, for a little bit. We're, we're running, I guess we won't say why you're doing it. We, we don't want to ruin this, the superstition, but um, it's your turn this week to come in front of the, the camera and um, break down the last week, this week, talk about your your area, all of that stuff. So um, first and foremost, um, let's talk about those slot backs and um, you know, kind of how you guys are doing right now and you know our, the progression of the year all that stuff yeah you know the the 12 uh, the 11 guys that we had uh, leaving last year on offense right. slots was probably the most returners returns that we had right uh, with Carl and John and um, we had some younger faces and things like that this year yeah. but with with Jesse um, Christian, Sage, right. Sage Airsman, newcomer, he's doing a great job so far. Yeah. Um, but with Carl and John, you know, they're fantastic. Great week of practice. Yeah. Uh, had a pretty good game last week. Yeah. You know, we rotate all those guys in. And, right, yeah. Definitely. And they've done a good job so far. Definitely. Um, uh, obviously, it's, you know, it hasn't been a big secret. You know, that's maybe been one of the areas that we haven't been able to exploit offensively as much as slot backs we just you know the fullbacks have been so strong oh, yeah. and maybe, maybe that's more than anything is the fullbacks have been so strong why go away from mm -hmm. a bread and butter play you know, in position like that um where you could go to the outside and that pitch is always dangerous oh, yeah. and we've obviously had some some issues out there on the outside um just getting the ball where it needs to be yeah. um but I, i'm sure um your guys are always ready um it, you always play the play and yeah. hope that the ball come, comes your way and they're ready to pick up, you know, five, six, ten, break one for, and they have broken yeah, really some have. long ones, definitely. Um, but I guess talk about, you know, that and just the preparing those guys every week. You know, in offense that we run, there's always an opportunity mm -hmm. that if, if things, if you figure something out, that's what you're going to run a lot. Absolutely. And all of a sudden they're going to turn into the stars yeah. for the game. Well, I mean, with the triple option, you have the three choices. You have, yeah. you have the dive, you have the quarterback, or you have the running back. Yeah. And so, um, usually, wherever their guys don't go to, the other yeah. guy's going to be getting yeah. the ball a yeah, lot. Yeah, somebody and, should and, be and, open. and our fullbacks, are, they've always been great in the past. And right. I mean, we've, we've got great fullbacks right now, too. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, why, go, why break away from tradition and, yeah. and just... You know, just keep running the ball with our big guys and, and moving the line of scrimmage and all that stuff. So, um, but preparing all these guys is, it's, it's a it's a task at times. Just because you know, we're gonna get this kind of defense, we're gonna get this kind of defense, yeah. but we've got to prepare for everything because you never know what you're gonna get on Saturdays. Yeah. So, uh, and that's that's one of the triple option battles that yeah. we always deal with. So. Yeah, and I'm sure they have to keep a level head about the whole situation. Never get too down that, oh, I'm not getting the ball, mm -hmm. but never get too up either. Oh, I'm yep. getting the ball all the time. Yep. This is going to be great. Every yeah. week's going to be like this, yeah. and I'm going to tally, you know, 100 yards every game. Well, that's just not going to be the case. It's yeah. very difficult because we have so many people running it, but definitely, um, and, you know, veteran group, um, you know, especially John and Carl probably help that out a Absolutely. lot. Absolutely, yeah. they really do. Definitely. All right, let's uh, rewind here a few days ago. Um, Peru State, big homecoming win. Mm -hmm. um, you guys did just enough for everything. Um, I think, in my mind, I figured it was going to be a low-scoring game, yeah. and it was. Um, you have two teams that run the exact same offense, so whoever does it just a little bit better. Didn't come down to turnovers. Um, we gave them the ball a few times, but we held on in the end. But I guess break down last week a little bit, both ends, and just you know how that's uh, helped us getting going forward here. Yeah, well... Uh, from an offensive standpoint, you know we struggled at times, but we had, at the same time we found we found ways to yeah. to overcome that, and especially with our fullbacks. Yeah, they had uh, Amos had a great game. Definitely, Nathan Veldhuizen had our only touchdown. I mean, we were able to run the ball with our fullbacks, and um, from a defensive standpoint, our defense played they played lights out. they, yeah, they had a great great Definitely. game. Um, you know that's what's awesome about being able to go through go against triple option and camp and in right. two a days and all that stuff so it's uh it's good it's good learning for us yeah and, yeah. and uh special teams wise too you know we had uh hunter beam and he had some some long kicks oh. and <laughs> it was awesome it was awesome good enough to, to be him. national yes. player of the week right it was awesome yeah. to see that and uh but no proof state they're a tough team yeah. and rightfully so i mean they're 22nd in the nation mm -hmm. and um 
we just had a better day that day. Yeah, we had a better day. Definitely. So. Um, as that has, uh, I'm sure we've taken that momentum into this week's practice. Hopefully, it's been a good good week of practice as we prepare for Culver Stockton. Um, not to take anything away from the Wildcats, the record doesn't show much, but their offense is They're good, talented. Mm-hmm, they are. Um, that for whatever reason, they are putting up a ton of yards and they get a lot of points, but. Their defense is, is obviously their the weak spot. Um, I think they're giving up about fifty five points a game, and mm-hmm. it's, it's a lot of high scoring games. So Saturday could be a shootout. Um, that if we just get a few more stops, that's what it's going to come down to. Yep. But you know, how do the how do the Wildcats look? Well, like you said, offensively, I mean they're they've got they're scoring a lot of points and, yep. and things like that. Defensively, they're they they're struggling at times, but right. you know they do some they do some tricky stuff. Um, that can affect what we what we want to do and things sure. like that. Uh, special teams wise, they're pretty good on special teams as well. Um, kickoff return, things like that, right. pretty dangerous. So uh, they've got athletes. They've got they've yeah. they've upgraded, um, and so we just need to go out. We need to go out and execute, and yeah. you know, um, just play all four quarters. Yeah. So. Um, so I'm outside of execution. What else? What other keys to success are we looking at for Saturday? Uh, Anything else that we feel like you know what I think we can take care of that better. Yeah, just getting getting the ball to to our playmakers offensively and, and defensively. You know, getting a getting a good pass rush. Right. Getting the ball down when when it's thrown and yeah. and you know taking advantage of opportunities that we get on both sides of the ball. So. Right. I mean, obviously you're not a defensive coach. Yeah. So they're the ones that are probably having more headaches and nightmares this week thinking about. Um, an offense that throws as much as um, Culver. I think they threw like 61 yeah. times last week or something. Yeah, it was it's insane. Some, yeah, insane number. Um, so that's you know going to be where we're going to have to work in, like you said. Hopefully the pass rush will be strong. Yep. And the defense. They'll, um, be our, they'll be our stronghold like they've always been. Yeah, so. and they have. They've done yeah. really well. I mean, even in the games where maybe giving up some more yards, they really have done more bending but yep. not breaking. Yep, absolutely. So, all right, well, uh, noon start, Culver Stockton on Saturday. Uh, Coach Adams, appreciate you coming in for a little bit, telling us what what, what to expect and, and all of that. Hopefully the slot backs take care of their business, and yep. if not, I'm sure you'll have them running extra Absolutely. sprints on, on Monday. <laughs> so, All right, thanks so much. Again, Culver Stockton coming to uh, Lacey Complex Stadium Saturday at noon. If you can't be there, check it out on the web. All right, thanks, Coach. Thank you.